And we seem to be live, everyone. Let's get that settled in, huh? All right. Do -do. Oh, goodness, you gotta make sure everything's set up properly, huh? There we go. Uh, da -da -da. Gotta make sure everything is up in the world, and then we are good. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what we can do, huh? Just gotta make sure Twitch is doing its thing. Stream administrator, that's what I wanted. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta make sure everything's right, you know? So, old fashioned. Just a simple character design stream. Well, not really character design. I've already designed the character. But I, uh, this time I'm just sort of doing like a, I guess, like a dress up doll. Um. Or I'm messing with uh, shading and, and just basically f finding where my character sits in regards to fashion and, and stuff like that. Ooh, a temperate stream. Hi. <laughs> Hola. Hello, Pussy. It's nice to see you. Thank you. It is a temperance stream. Uh, because we actually played D&D &D online for the first time in a way where it actually worked. And we sort of had to try doing that because, you know, with uni right around the corner, you know, like a lot of people sort of wouldn't really have the time or the energy to be able to take like the eight gazillion hour train ride. Uh, so we've had to move a little bit. So we tried online for the first time and it went really well. And I guess I got in a temperance mood. I'm on lunch break, so I'm glad I could catch it for a bit. Yeah, you know what? I'm glad to be uh, some respite in the uh, in the situation that is the museum. So we're doing a but we're doing a bunch of stuff. Um, I've already done uh, the base and the under things, so the Twitch gods can't get mad at me. So uh, no nudity. <laughs> Twitch gods are not merciful, and therefore I will watch my every word. So. And the thing is, she's only going to get more and more clothed along with, like, but this is sort of just like a nightgown kind of energy. But nightgown in the same way where you sort of just wear a big t-shirt to bed, but, like, vaguely fantasy. Like, this is the cottage core version. <laughs> so. That's kind of what I'm nah, messing with right now. Uh, a warmer tone, perhaps. We'll go in here and continue to blend. But yeah, we played online for the first time and we had sort of like, it felt very, it felt, it felt very, uh, <laughs> adult. <laughs> no, who did he make mind? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I couldn't stay. Oh, damn, we're saying we can't enjoy that sweet, sweet 18 plus. No, this is an adult stream. We can talk about adult things. I just, the Twitch gods are going to get mad at me. The Twitch gods are going to get mad at me. So I can't, I can't. <laughs> I can't draw it, I'm afraid. But that doesn't mean that Temperance is absolutely fucking built, homie. <laughs> she is a delight. But, yeah. Uh, well, no, I can, uh, I can show you guys... Uh, we have drawing that's for the only fan page exactly what i have is we have her under things um so this is just sort of the body with some under ruse on because sometimes you gotta make sure that the bits are covered mostly because i'm showing this to you guys because i spent too long on like the abs <laughs> and like the toned shoulders 
for me not to show it off to you guys. So this is Temperance again, but without the uh, <laughs> she. But you know, it's also good that uh, I get to learn how to draw these things also as practice for um, Aya and or I mean any character that I end up drawing that isn't supposed to be like soft and gentle. I just and, and you got a steak on that girl's abs. Damn right you could. Damn right you could. Me simping as you should. Temperance deserves it. She is a delight and I love her. But yeah, she uh again, as she's a she's a farmhand turned oath of vengeance paladin, and that means our girl's got to be built for tough. You know, so <laughs> I have no excuse other than one, I wanted to learn how to draw abs and sort of get sort of the more built muscular. Um, and also because I just like women, you know, <laughs> I like enjoy drawing women. I mean, Aya deserves it too, but it's temp day. Well, I mean, yeah, Aya does deserve it. But the thing is, I've drawn Aya with abs plenty of times before. Um, it's just, uh, I guess, post-learning curve, where I haven't been drawing Aya as much, but that's because we've been in the new one, in the, or at least in the in uh, Rising Bound instead of uh, Highward Bound, so. And then we have this. It's not really a button or anything like that, I just kind of like the idea of, uh, of where it's like kind of buttoned up or something like that. I don't know. It's giving me old cottage core energy. So what I might do, however, is take the tone down on this. We get a little less saturated and a little darker. And then take make this and sort of do like a there we go. That's a little better. That's a little better. And then maybe Ooh, I have an idea. I have an idea. We're gonna tint it. Sort of like an orangish yellowy color. And we're sort of just gonna... There. Do we see that? Big brain. A little bit messy. Well, now the thing is, now it won't fit with everything else. So what I need to do is keep that as it is and sort of just saturation up brightness a little down and then do the same well maybe i can sort of just make these two multiply layers can i yes i can much better there we go <laughs> we're gonna have to be jumping around on this honestly uh <laughs> And see what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate the line layer and then we're gonna blur it just a little bit just a little bit lower the opacity merge those down to ching uh all right so that's one so now we need the uniform uh of what's going on here. So I'm going to rename this as sleepwear, perhaps. I was about to write jammies, but I'm an adult. Uh, uh, you can see that, like, this is the sketch where I just sort of took a red. Um, and just sort of drew on top. But what we can do here is we can start sketching out on top of all of this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a sort of obnoxiously bright color so I can see it through all this hard work. Uh, 6B pencil on the lowest saved one. So let's see what we can do here. Uh, okay, so what we have is a collared shirt. And also this is mostly because uh, whenever I seem to draw temperance all fancy like I keep on forgetting the ears and that's just a problem for me. Uh, the ears just, like, I need- she's a half-elf with her ears snip-snapped, and therefore she needs to have at least something 
that shows the ears. And I'm just, I keep on drawing her with just regular human ears. So this goes across and down. Because we have to follow the curvature of the body. I also have a bubble tea because my sister was by today, so. We were having a, um, it's not a girl's night, but a girl's day in regards to, um, preparing for my cousin's wedding tomorrow, so. We should have just had, like, a, a girl's day of, of figuring out what's going on. What we were gonna wear, stuff like that. Because that was a very important thing for my sister. This is half elf ear erasure, Cammy. Hey, hey now. <laughs> But I spilled, I spilled pomegranate boba everywhere. <laughs> no, um. <laughs> no, okay. It's not erasure. If she had the ears at one point and then they got cropped, she's still she's still a half elf. And I, I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. With the amount of times that I draw stupidly long pointy ears. Is that really an issue? <laughs> That's half of your erasure. I agree. Sorry, my chat lags because I'm in a spot with spotty Wi-Fi. Yeah, the museum is a acquired taste. Uh, we have it. It's actually kind of. Oh no! Let's move it back to where we want it to be. Thank you. Um. So we're gonna do that and miss that here. And I'm also drawing on top of all the other layers as we're sort of not a razor, it's just a hate crime. <laughs> not one that I've taken on these characters, okay? It's for backstory reasons. Oh, <laughs> uh, that is awful to say. Because I know that there are the strappies here. I'm looking over here at our little reference. Uh, we can continue to get what's going on here. So what we're going to do... It seems to be that there is a belt here. Or a strappy here. That connects... Like this to two others. And that connects to a bag. That sits there. Right? No, that doesn't connect to a bag. It connects to, uh... Something. So it's not a bag, it's like a sort of, I guess, a panel? Which then connects to... a bag. Like this. But I don't really need the panel. I can sort of just... have this... like that, right? Strappy? It's just a, it's just it's just little strappies on the outfit, uh, harness kind of behavior. You know what I mean? Uh, goodness gracious! I think I also have a chat lag. I think it's just Twitch. It's most likely Twitch. Twitch has a small lag in comparison to uh to what's actually happening on stream. Well, same. In the inflicting hate crimes on characters. It's hard to, because of a lot of stories and in regards where you want to give characters a motivation, you know, a lot of it sort of just ends up becoming like a trauma dump. Um, me looking at my own D and D characters, <laughs> so it's just like, I don't know. It's uh, it sucks for them, but you know, we're the creators. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Hi, Karma, welcome! We're, uh... And it's another sweet, sweet art stream. We're just gonna sort of get things settled together. I do think this is a little too low, though. That also might be because it wouldn't just sit like that on the front. I think what it would do is it would be more... horizontal and sit on the side. So what I'd be doing is this, almost. Like that. So we'd sort of be working on that end of things. 
And the good- Does that one not connect to a little, like, thing around the thigh? It should. It should. Now it will. Make them hurt like you hurt makes them relatable. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, look, as authors, sometimes we put our characters through hell and we want them to recover and be better after. Or at least I do. Well, I think, uh... <laughs> I think anachronistic is an exception. They don't want their characters to get better. They just want suffering. Um, and then we have this one, which goes down here. And there's like a little thing here. For no reason at all other than I think it looks nice. Um, and that goes here. And then down one more, and then across again. I just love it when women- <laughs> Lol, salt bitch. <laughs> in my Christian Minecraft server, in my cozy outfit generator stream. <laughs> and there's gonna be like a little chain here, because I like to be a little extra. You know, I want things to be just like a little extra. Oh, it doesn't connect over there either. Oh, <gasps> it connects over here. Yeah, attack. That's what we want. We want it to connect on the inner side of the poof. I too love when women. Oh my goodness. Again, I was talking with uh, with Sissy uh, today and because just a little extra, just like a little extra. <laughs> I can make him better. I can make him worse. Well, I can make him. <laughs> I can make it um no but me and uh, my sister we were talking uh about Hades because it was because it's a game that I've been playing recently and that she's already completed and we just ended up making a tier list of all of the characters in smash ability like we didn't think that far other than we were like okay but honestly S tier like sort of like it became like a game of degeneracy between my uh, my sister and I and it was a delight, honestly. It was very fun to work with because we were sort of just like, we had to like argue for our own horrible choices. We had to argue for our own bad taste and that's valid. Okay, it goes out into a triangle and then up here. And then it goes down the middle, down again, and then up and across. So it was incredibly fun. I enjoyed it quite a bit. And sort of what we, what I realized along the lines was that just like, I'm just down bad. I'm just down stupid. <laughs> well, again, I have a lot of, when it comes to like the, I can make him better, I can make him worse thing. My, <laughs> what I've heard recently, sorry, gotta run, but first, ooh, I'll go back to my point in a second. Uh, redeemed hydrate on <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 I'll hydrate, I'll hydrate. I have been hydrated. I've had the water. Or I've had the pomegranate boba. <laughs> Correct. Uh, I've not known the touch of a woman in many moons. I wish you the best of luck and hope that you may find the touch of a woman very soon. Um, but, as I was saying, mm hmm Thank you for hopping in, Klesi. It was been a delight seeing you, and I will see you again on Monday. Um, for the dund. But, 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 but. My sister and I, we were talking because, oh god, I think I forgot. I think I forgot. Hi, Lictor. Welcome, welcome. Uh, what was it? No, what was it? Oh my god, no, I forgot it. I lost it. Oh god. Uh, Hades, Hades characters ranks god no 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 i can make him better i can make him worse that's what it was i found this uh TikTok that was like instead of i can fix him it's like i can accept him as he is the murder just makes him quirky <laughs> you want to fix him i want him exactly as he is like true like the ultimate problematic fave um Oh my god, Defender, Stan. Now if we get this, what I want is, I want these straps to sort of go up across and land here. Should they sit behind the... Should it be sort of... 
be like behind the bus in regards to like holding up the top. Or should they be on top in sort of like a suspender-y thing? Hmm. The murder makes him quirky. Like, it was very sort of like, I can ex- <laughs> You want to fix him? I want him exactly as he is. I will- <laughs> It was absolutely wild to see. Okay, but I am wondering if we want it on top. Like this. Or behind. Because she's a paladin, so she should be moving around a lot. But on the other hand, like, hmm, pretty paladin. She's a lovely paladin. And I feel like I haven't drawn her a lot, but I think it's because when I draw her, I draw her often on stream. So you guys have seen me draw her a lot, but I don't really draw her a lot in private. That goes to the knee pads here, right? My god, Temperance almost got crushed underneath a building last last campaign, like straight up just went like, nope. <laughs> Not that she wanted to, she just sort of ended up getting into a situation where the one response was, well, I'm supposed to catch up here, what's going on? And then all of a sudden, buildings started getting sucked to the floor and we were all like, well, what's happening? And then I fell on my ass. <laughs> Temperance fell face first. <laughs> Because I'm an unlucky bitch. Frame the tibby? Frame the tibby. So we'll have it be a behind here thing. Like that. Oh, this is only gonna get better. I love her. She's lovely. I'm drawing another NPC for Blades in the Dark. Ooh. And how is that working out for you, Lictor? Uh, I need that to be a little higher, actually. This needs to be a little higher. This is only the sketch, my god. <laughs> I don't do a lot of sketches. No, you do 400 messy ones and then expect one of them to look nice. Which would look lovely next to Temp. <laughs> Really? Not have this. This is where the knee would sit. And this is a knee here, which would sort of go like this. Oh my goodness. I should also maybe... Hmm. She also still needs her bandage wrappings, which might be something that I add on a separate layer entirely as well, so I can sort of on and off those motherfuckers. Um, also, are we seeing how cute her short hair is? I'm still learning how to draw short hair right, and I'm like, you know what? I think it looks pretty okay. <laughs> I'm still learning. And now it's the boots. Good golly, the fucking boots. Let's go. All right, so we have this. And it sort of goes around here and back here. I cannot, will not, never learn how to draw shoes. <laughs> oh my goodness, all right, we have the reference all the way up in the corner. We're gonna see what we can do here. So we have a, a, a boot here and then up. And the boot is a little lower because there's like a small heel to the shoe. And it goes up and around like this. So something around this? Circa? Oh, I don't know. I have no idea what's going on, but we're going to try. We're going to figure this out. Then it's the same here. And 
happens it sort of goes outwards as it's coming closer towards us and then yes that's laces it's just one squiggly line don't worry about it don't worry about it <laughs> no where did that one line come from no way. there we go So that's one. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Also, let me know if uh, the music is too loud or too quiet or anything like that. I have a hard time making notice of it myself because I sort of have the volume relatively low in my headphones. So. And I think the one of the main reasons is I'm drawing temperance is simply because we've sort of decided that one of the ways post-mortem would be more influential in uh, Metropo Eternus is to, instead of be its own gang, be like, or like, not gang, but sort of like, I guess it is technically a gang, but it sort of has more of a form of individual government systems. Um, is that, like, they would be, like, vigilante-esque and sort of cause chaos within rivaling uh, gangs as a form to create a name for themselves, but also to cause sort of uh, turbulence within the... Uh, within the uh, 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 uh within the gangs themselves so we sort of decided that's the route to take so we sort of also need to make sure that we're not exactly immediately recognized so it's like well we have these outfits that are sort of like the post-mortem uniform in regards of like what uh lex has provided to us in the estate we also have stuff like well, how do we make shit sneaky? And what about disguises and make sure that we actually look like civilians instead of people who are absolutely lost as shit <laughs> in these plates, you know? So, I'm very excited, but I'm also absolutely terrified. <laughs> so I'm drawing this uniform one and then I'm gonna be drawing a civilian uh, sort of version, I guess. Um, that's kind of like a uniform and then uh, or I guess we'll have a civilian room that's not a uniform and this is a uniform and then we'll sort of have like the vigilante shenaniganery which I'm also very excited about because I think I have an idea for like the, the hood part which is sort of like a corset top meets it's gonna be sexy except sexy isn't the exact point but I just like I just I don't know women um, you asked how it's going. Ooh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh, she looks delightful. I love the cards. Do we have everything here? Yes, we do. All right, back to, uh, back to temperance here. As we sort of see that these connect over here in the sides, maybe we'll have them be like a Oh, I know what we'll do. We'll have like a little sort of, I guess like a hint of that gold clasp. Um, here on the side, so we know sort of that they're connected. There. That's what we want. <laughs> so with that in mind, let's see what we have here. Oh, I gotta make sure that I have that open as well. Okay. The only hard part about drawing on like a doll, a dress-up doll, as this is, um, is the fact that you sort of are already- you're, you're drawing on top of a, I guess, finished drawing on its own. So I, I could imagine- like, at least in my case, the lines can get pretty confusing. Because I'm still trying to like figure out what's where and, and stuff like that. <laughs> oh my goodness! It is so 
so nice to see you. Hi, welcome, welcome. Uh, to the uninitiated. <laughs> oh my god, this is a long story. Um, Pear is uh, a, an artist that I met on uh, on Instagram in like 2016, and I ended up sort of gifting her a character design. Lower opacity, that's true. Um, and we sort of just decided that these characters would um, sort of be together and it would be very sweet. So we sort of just have like, and we've just been like drawing for each other in art fight ever since. Yeah, Isla. Oh my goodness. And it's been every year at art fight, we've either attacked each other and it's just been, it's just been so nice. Uh, so it's, 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 it's a long story, but it's a good story. Um, and now Pear is, uh, also developing a, uh, been super wholesome. It has been. And Pear is also developing a, a VTuber and stuff as well. So, uh, gang. <laughs> It's been super wholesome. It has. Oh, goodness. That's a... <laughs> That's a noise. Where did that come from? <laughs> oh, it's because you fall on. Thank you. We're going to get those there as well. We're going to sneak our way across down here at the bottom. But, yeah, so it's 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 been a minute. <laughs> Super wholesome. Yeah, it's 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 old art history, you know, when you're still learning. Like I remember the first time I I drew Isla, I was sort of just like, this is the best drawing I've ever done. And then now I look back at the first drawing I did and I'm like, okay. <laughs> I appreciate the confidence, Gammy, but this is uh <laughs> Oh my goodness. We've all improved so much in regards to art, and I'm just very excited. I can relate, yeah. Isn't that also the way with artists? Like, you draw something, you think it's the best thing in the world, and then it could be anywhere from two hours to three years later, you look back at it and you're like, no. <laughs> like, this one particularly, just, like, <laughs> suddenly, like, something in you snaps, and you're like, it doesn't work anymore. Um... What I might do here, actually, is where do I have that? I have that connected with chains, actually. Hell yeah. So I have that be here, too. Like, have it be connected with chains. I think that would be pretty sweet. Yes, that's a chain. <laughs> You're just like, no, exactly. But like, with the heart emoji. Sounds just like coding. Yeah, it, it, it probably is. Like, redeemed hydrate. All right, okay. <laughs> it's water time. Mm. That'll also go to everyone. Make sure you guys have some water. It's toasty as shit outside. So stay hydrated, homies. I'm gonna make sure that all is well here. Every once in a while, I look at my own character designs and wonder, why did I make them that fucking big? <laughs> Hail hydrate. Oh my god. <laughs> we have to hydrate, homies. Sip, sip. Y'all better. If I put in this... Okay. If I have it be like a strappy until this point and then have it be a chain. It doesn't necessarily have to be a chain, I just don't want it to be completely black. Um in regards of silhouette and and basically just giving a different contrast and color. So I'm trying to keep things like you can have two different pieces next to each other be the same color as long as there's something that can stand out somewhere else in the design. I'm glad to see that you're doing well, though. Thank you. It's really nice. Um, it's also really nice to, to hear from you, too. I hope all is well on your end, too. It's uh, It's been a minute, and uh, 
I don't know. I hope uh, I hope the past couple of years have been treated you nicely. We're uh, <laughs> it's like we're old friends, but we rarely actually talk. <laughs> so um, I I hope all is well, and that um, and that life's treating you nicely. Uh, we're gonna have to do the chain back up here as well. The reason I'm drawing this in incredibly messy uh, brushes in instead of a uh, <laughs> Is that a super thin brush? Yes, because I don't want to. <laughs> it sure has been a ride. Yeah. There's been a hell of a couple years. No, no. I'm gonna let that go down this way. Hips for days. I love that about temperance. Uh, We're gonna perhaps do this. Ooh, that's actually a good question. Should we have the sideband here? Because I think it would be pretty great. But on the other hand, I don't know if we need it, but on the other hand, it would look pretty great. Because <laughs> if I think what I might do is if we have this right uh, there and we can sort of just connect it here. Then we can do that and have it connect here. Wouldn't it be too busy on one side of the hip? It could definitely be, you know what I mean? Like, it's that's kind of the thing. Why I'm worried about it. Because if we have it here, like, this is the original design. Where it sort of has, like, strappies on one end and then the bag on the other. So, I'm wondering where, sort of, and how it could sit. You know what I mean? So, we got lots of options here, and... I I tend to be very maximalist with my designs, which isn't necessarily a good thing. You know what I mean? I tend to go like, oh, well, we can just add a, a, one more thing, you know? Instead of just being like, no, this is good. Simple isn't exactly something in my wheelhouse. Um, so with that in mind, I'm a little uh, extra cautious when it comes to stuff like this. It has to be like down here and then there has to be like a connector. It's not like, there you go. The only way to figure it out is to try them all. Damn right. <laughs> Nothing is sacred. We will draw it all. And the good part is since this is for like a D&D &D campaign, I don't really necessarily, I don't really have to worry about it like uh, being super prim and proper. I can sort of just, I can sort of just draw. Which is um, something that really is hard to replace. Go big or go home. Am I right? You're absolutely right. I prefer to do as much, do, do absolutely way too much and then scale down later. <laughs> and then I scale down and I go, but there's nothing happening. But I made it as a sketch. I want to refine it. Oh, okay. Is the best person to draw long RPG characters. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. Oh, that's really sweet of you. Uh, yeah, the number one important thing is to have fun. And that's true. Having fun and uh, having fun while you're creating something is, and that's the part that matters the most to me. Simply because you know. What else can you do, right? Chain is back. When I mean chain, I mean just like... <laughs> Old-fashioned cartoon chain. That does not look right one bit. <laughs> if this is the flat here, it has to go like this. There we go. That's what I want that and then we'll go outwards and in again sort of like a how does one draw uh, wrinkles and clothing you draw uh, triangles and squiggly lines and just hope to good god that it works one day i'll make a burn charm and give it to temperance you know what i think temperance would uh value it with her life she would love the burn charm and she will make sure that it is beautiful and taken care of and placed in a little bitty box in her room. 
But the thing is, that's kind of cheating about Temperance's room, is that because the estate is both real and not real at the same time, it's like you don't really, like you can sort of choose how it looks. And Temperance's room was subconsciously built right after she was resurrected from the dead. So like, one of the party members in post-mortem, Odette, has like this beautiful, elegant, like Rococo style bedroom that is huge, right? And then there's just Temperance who has like the ground floor of a farmhouse <laughs> with a kitchen and sort of just like, it's like just like a one floor. <laughs> it's absolutely, um, like there's a total contrast in design. It's like brick walls and, and like a, a stone oven. It was delightful. Uh, what's her weapon of choice? Temperance uses a uh, warhammer and uh, knuckle dusters because she uh, likes to punch things uh, <laughs> and also whaps. So this hammer right here is the weapon. Along with some, I believe they're gold knuckle dusters as a part of like the aesthetics. Are the fucking shoes again? I'm gonna have to go into this layer and like copy the shoes. Just let me, uh, <laughs> just let me work with these and see. That is hot. It is. It is. Um, I actually, uh, have a different pose of, of Temperance that I haven't finished yet, which is this one, where she's going to be holding the hammer. Um... And I'm also very excited for that one, because it's just true emphasis on wifey material. Uh, but yeah, these are my Temperance things. It's very... I have a little folder for it. It's Metropolis Eternum, which is, you know, the name of the campaign. Or at least, like, sort of, like, not name in the form of, like, it's like a, uh, like a pre-planned adventure, sort of, not like there's anything that's, like, bought, or, but it's just sort of whenever we have to talk about it when, with the D&D group, we sort of just needed to give it a name, so we just call it Metropolis Eternum. Um... Thanks to Letterlock, our fantastic dungeon master. Abs. Ab. Yeah. Built. Built dummy thing. <laughs> Temperance is, um. She's a. She's a strong, uh, woman. And I love her. <laughs> and it also, um. Whenever, uh. This is a very. This is a very, uh drastic call out um on like by me at me um but i um if i truly like don't try i tend to get a southern twinge in my accent in my english accent so if i sort of really truly do not give a fuck it gets more and more southern so when i uh voice temperance um I actually just like go completely southern and just sort of like it's like just lean into it a little bit more, and it's uh, <laughs> actually rather delightful. So she actually sort of has like the southern bell energy uh, mixed with uh, oath of vengeance paladin. So you know it's it's really great to see like a, a tall uh, curly haired woman with freckles absolutely inspire fear in those around her. Bless your heart. Yeah, it's really, it's none of the freight, it's none of the terms or anything like that, but it is most definitely like the tone. And I, I simply, like I spent like what, one and a half, two years in the States, maybe three. And like, it was like, that's the one thing that stuck. That's it. <laughs> Well, that and uh, you, Anachronistic, you also stuck as well. But like...
goes down like that. There we go. So it's like a total chaos. I need to lie a little bit more flat against the body here. There we go. <laughs> Don't winky face at me. We're gonna just real quick sneak in as well. And these are steel-toed boots, by the way. Because you truly can't be in a weird uh steel punk, not quite cyber, uh not quite uh steam, steel, like industrial, I guess, uh punk uh outfit and and beat up gang members without steel toed boots. I have fat steel. Stop! Just like a little, just like a smidgen of a heel. Just like what you would have in a normal boot. A boot. I'm gonna go a quick lean. No, I think I like that without, actually. Oh boy, okay. Let's see what we got. Oh god, it's laces. I hate, I hate drawing laces. Okay, so let's see. If we can have a triangle here, we'll have it meet here. So it's like this. And then we'll do the same here. And then we'll do the same here. And then I'm sort of just gonna be doing this for a minute. Yeah, and it put Poe Buddy's perfect. we're gonna leave it as it is. And then, uh, this. Little ribbons. Looks like a feminine version of a jackboot. Approval, plus plus. Sometimes you gotta. Sometimes you just gotta make it a little bit more, uh... Alright, we're gonna do this as well. Imagine if I deleted the layer right now and absolutely... <laughs> gonna sneak our way across and lean over here like that but not quite I don't want it to like go too much outwards because this girl she she beats people up for a living and you know what she should do that she deserves to honestly walk on problems as opposed to walk around problems damn right Temperance doesn't move for anyone, however. Uh, last session, there was like a moment of awkwardness because of uh, a plate that we had just been on with our party had straight up collapsed in on itself instead of just shifting to a different location. We didn't know they could do that. Um, so we're trying to figure out what the hell happened. Oh, sorry. I bumped my mic. Um... And with that came sort of the idea of, well, what the fuck are we supposed to do then? So we talked to some of these, um, sort of plate, um, well, we just kind of called them runners. As in people who sort of explore around the plates and then sort of, I guess, mark things down and write stuff in a book. Because Tepper tried to buy one of these books and was straight up like, it was straight up like something you just didn't talk about. Because she was like, I would like this book. And everyone was like, what the fuck? So what happened is we avoided that one sort of like stand where you could buy those books, went to a different one later run by like some gangly teenager. And instead of just saying that she wanted the book, when she bought a couple of other books, um, she uh, just put it in the pile and didn't say anything. <laughs> um... But it was very, very, uh, it was very good because I ended up getting a lot of information out of this gangly teenager because um, very aptly, like, <laughs> um, Letterlock, our dungeon master, was like, well, the thing is, he just kind of, it's, it, it's kind of, he's just kind of a geek. You could, you could sense that there was like a, that his eyes lit up when you started talking about this particular thing. So I learned a little bit about the technology there um, used on the shifts. And the thing is, 
Temperance isn't the most intelligent character. I mean, her intelligence is still 11, but it's one of the lowest of the party. Um, so, basically, this poor girl is like, look, thank God she's a paladin and her charisma is high, because she was sort of, she was able to smooth talk her way to information by sort of just being kind. And this poor fucking teenager, like, the amount of lying that Temperance had to, to go through to make sure that, like, they didn't think she was out of her fucking mind was wild. And she's the only one that knows the language. Like, because the language on the plates is, like, a mix of, like, Elvish and Dwarvish. Like, they're sort of... Because the, the Metropolis Eternum is like, let's just take the Material Plane and the order of chaos and the uh or and the plane of order and the plane of chaos and just sort of mix them together into a big fucked up triangle then you know like all languages sort of slowly ended up combining and sort of hodgepodging together right like how english is like eight languages in a trench coat shift speak as we call it is the same and it was just an absolute chaotic moment as we um as we realized temperance is the only one who speaks the language <laughs> And the ones who would actually be useful, like the, like the wizard, who enjoys books and shit, and the uh, divine sorcerer, or I guess divine warlock. Um, so it was an ab it was absolute chaos. Um, it was a it was very very fun, but it was just sort of like I could feel myself like age thirty years. As I was just trying to talk to this poor, this poor gangly team. Oh my god. It was a, it was a delight. But again, it was a session that we did online for the first time. And um, it had been a while since at least this group that I was with had done online D&D in a way that seemed functional. So we were all very excited. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> He's well. Uh, well. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, thanks for coming in. Um, and it was so. Uh, love you too. Oh my goodness. Yo. Hi. Uh, yeah. Um. <laughs> Yo, you're talking about D and D. I'm always talking about D and D, Fabio. Hello. Hello. Ugly Roo. Hi. Hi. You're doing the thing, but we were too. Ao. Ao. <laughs> Thank you for the raid. That's so sweet. Welcome. I'm <laughs> I'm uh, doing a sort of dress up doll for my uh um for one of my uh D and D characters, uh, Temperance. We just thought about doing a D campaign for noobs and anyone who wants to join. Well, I mean, if it's for noobs, then I'm not the. <laughs> Is it? Thank you, Zia. That's really sweet of you. Thank you. Um. I also do have a sleepwear, but um, I'm currently working on one. Again, as a dress-up doll. Where did I draw this? No, wait, where did I draw this? No, wait, where did I draw this? No, no wait, where did I draw this? Where is this layer? <laughs> okay, it's up here. <laughs> I panicked for a solid second. Like, can you imagine Mog, uh, Cookie, Soleil, and Electric all doing a D&D &D campaign? No, just like a very chill, like no pressure thing where everyone can play. I've done it and it was so much fun. I play D&D &D on the reg. I love this stuff. The creativity flows. It really does. That would be absolutely wild to have like a, a Twitch streamer D&D. &D. I mean, I've been both dungeon master and player before. So I uh, I have a vague idea of, of, of the works. Damn, you're a pro then. Yeah, I have. I've been doing this uh, for, or I've been playing D and D for how old am I? Twenty three. Uh, seven, eight years. Circa. I can't do math, but I can play Dungeons and Dragons. We did a Twitch streamer D and D. We did streams. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. But D and D is very fun. I enjoy it quite a lot. Oakley Rue, it was really fun. Yeah. Uh under sleepwear, I think. Uh right. Me, Oakley, the and two other streamers. Oh my god. That also does sound like a delight. 
You guys seem like a really fun people to play D&D with. But I'm also, I've never really been a rules lawyer when it comes to Dungeons and Dragons, so I, I, I really let myself get absolutely hog wild with the rules. Um, just gonna do that. We're just gonna real quick do as much as we can here around the details. That's where I got my emote mascot from. Oh shit! My character rock. <laughs> okay, but I love that though. Um. Uh, my god. Sometimes you gotta have the good prank characters. Uh, let me just- or at least with the good names. Uh, I think... One of my favorite character names that I've ever had was uh, Nutmeg. Just Nutmeg. Um, <laughs> or she had eight names, but the one she used was Nutmeg. And, um... It was- she was a delightful. She was a, a barbarian. And also a gnome. Uh, <laughs> So she was just like two feet tall and absolutely destroyed people with an axe. I loved her. Um, and I mean, Temperance is a very interesting character because she sort of chose her own name in regards to the fact that, like, the entire back, like, our uh, dungeon master was able to pull off an amnesia plot, which uh, is a miracle. And I'm so, so happy that it went well. Didn't we have Brad Channington or something? I mean, honestly, you should. <laughs> We're gonna just sneak our way around here. It does seem like the shoe is a little long here, so actually what we're gonna do is take this and sort of just move it in just a little bit. There, no harm, no done. Brad Chattington. Yeah, we did the Shutter Island backstory. His wife ate their babies and he's haunted by the fact that he couldn't save them and now he's basically the raccoon fuck from Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh my god. Uh, Chad Braddington and that was Santa's character. She was a big dude. I can't remember. Just everything was smash. Oh my god. I love that. I really love that. Um, I haven't played... Uh, uh, a particular- well, I ha no, no, that would be incorrect. I have played, uh, minor joke characters, but I- I've mostly sort of been, um... No, I- I can- I'll post a clip of a moment from the campaign later. Oh, please do! Um, I think one of the moments that I recognize as one of my favorite sort of D&D campaigns I played in was one where I played as the final boss. I played as the big bad. Um, and I basically was a, a lich, um, who was doing, uh, like, advanced disguise self spells and, like, using spell slots to try and, um, undo what I had created. You can play as that? Not in particular, it was something me- it was because of the DM of that campaign. Uh, wrote to me and was like, I want to do this thing where the big bad is actually a party member and has been traveling with them the whole time. Would you want to be this big bad? And I was like, fuck yeah, I would. So I ended up becoming uh, this lich. Um, and straight up, like my character's whole story was that she had started the end of the world to save her family because she thought that like she was doing a spell that would revive them from the dead. And then instead of it doing what she thought it would, she turned into a lich and then, you know, caused the end of the world. And therefore had to sort of like work with the people that were trying to kill her to fix what she had created. And it was, it was so, it was so fun. My character did die at the end. Um, but it was, uh, I want to say it was well-deserved. <laughs> Then people were possessed. I mean, yeah. 
it was really, really fun. I enjoyed her. Her name was, uh, oh my god. Uh, her, her true name was Geraldine, but, uh, her human disguise was Gliss. It was pretty great. Uh, <laughs> I need to get my partner into D&D. We could play with some friends IRL and that'd be so cool. I mean, D&D IRL has a different vibe than online D&D. Mm. Because well, online D&D might be technically easier in regards to a, um, it's in regards to a stand of like accessibility, it might be easier. But there is, like, a different energy when you're all sitting around the table and talking that way, you know? Like, it feels... There's a different vibe. And both are delightful. And I enjoy uh, playing both online and in person dearly. But there is just something about sitting in person and sharing snacks with your friends and having... You're and having the dungeon master like get angry at the speakers for not playing the music right for the eighth time, you know, like it's just it's it's a different vibe, you know. Um, but on the other, well, no, incorrect. I can also play D and D in my pajamas in real life as well. No one gives a shit. I was about to say, well, you can't just sort of be in your pajamas while you play D and D in real life. No, you can. No one really gives a fuck. Um. Like that, and then here. Somewhat, right? And then what we're gonna do is do a second line right here, which is gonna be our gold accent. I like tabletop night vibes. I had a friend who would host us weekly. Oh shit. Uh, two of my friends and I also like, we call it D&D, &D, but it's basically just interactive storytelling at this point. Like the dice rolls are few and far between and we're just shooting the shit and just vibing. <laughs> For a couple hours as we talk about these characters who we've grown to love, you know what I mean? So... Like, is it is it really d d No. But do we still say it's d d as an excuse to meet up every Monday? Yes. <laughs> love that. I know, right? Like, it's sort of every once in a while, whenever sort of, um... Uh... Whenever the game master, I guess, in technical terms, like, decides that, like, we can't just bullshit our way through absolutely everything. Like, alright, no, 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 just roll roll me a dice and see if it works, okay? And we're all just like, oh, come on, can we rule of cool it, please? And the answer is always no, but we try. We try so desperately. We're like, no, 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 no. we want to be badasses and win all the time. Or, no, it's not that I- it's, no, no, no. Um, I want to be a badass and win all the time. <laughs> But, you know, that's impossible, <laughs> so I have to do things like roll dice. My god, y'all didn't hear that, but my dog just did the most aggressive sounding, like, angry huff that I've ever heard in my life. You tired there, bud? Am I- are you pissed? What are you pissed about? Oh my god. I love my dog, but he is such a drama queen. <laughs> Mm. Alright, so now we have... Alright, now we have the base colors here, so now we can start editing on basically anything at this point. So... What, did I, what is this? What is... Okay, wait, if I click clear... Nothing happened. Okay. So. And that's the thing with complicated designs. You always wonder if you're doing the right thing. So we're going to just real quick sneak across here. 
with a couple extra lines. Again, mostly to mark off that there's going to be an accent here, but um, I would forget it if I didn't have it. Okay, we got a stretch redeem. Which means it's stretching time. Oh god. Eesh. <laughs> I almost dropped my headphones. <laughs> oh, okay. Ugh. Make sure everyone who's been sitting in a goblin position over their computers or iPads or whatever is also stretching. Make sure to get your shoulders out. <laughs> I leaned my head back and my headphones fell off. The stretching has been completed. Thank you very much. It will now continue. <laughs> Good call, that's totally me. Yeah, that's why I have the redemption. <laughs> because if I don't get told to stretch, it's not happening. Right, okay. D&D outfit design for temperance? Also, hi. <laughs> Hello. We're just gonna do a zoom out. It's a girl. Um... Thunder Lizards is uh, one of the players in the campaign where Temperance is a character. So, uh, Temperance actually gave uh, their character uh, the name, <laughs> their name, as we all were assigned a letter. And Temperance was like, well, you know, I read a bunch of poetry books or children's nursery rhymes, and there was a name that I thought really worked with you, a um, moth. What about that one? Oh, geez, my wife, platonic. <laughs> Mm hmm It's actually a dress-up doll, so I have, um... Uh... I do have other things on, so I have uh, this one as well. And then also uh, a sleepwear as well. So we have, uh... I'm also going to add the bandages as well, but they're going to be a different layer, so I can sort of add them on and off. Um... <laughs> Oh my god, whenever I get the eyes emoji, I love it. It's such a compliment. It's such a compliment. Mm -hmm. Rename. PM uniform. Basic. I love to behold her. Honestly, as you should. She's pretty delightful to behold. Um, what we're gonna do is take a neutral pant and have that as well. Or maybe I should do... Wait, I'm gonna put a little bit of neutral pant here so I can just get the color. Nothing basic about this woman. I'm talking about the base uniform, homies. Temperance is delightful. <laughs> and basic has, has never been a bad thing. Uh, almost completely... Shall we take this then? Not... Oh, that's completely black. We don't want that. We want an almost black, but not quite. There we go. So what we're doing is we're going to just do these. as we get all the uh, harness stuff under control. Like that. And here. Oh. I still need to go into yeah, okay. Uh, I need to go into the pitch black as well. Get some more of the lines done. Yeah. That's the hard thing about a dress-up doll. Layering everything on top of each other. Dark grayish red. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Uh... 
I might also add a nail detail at the end, but. Oh, my avatar's not working? Oh, I've probably, uh... Oh, it's... <laughs> I might have just been too far away for, uh, for it to register my face. The camera was just too far away. Um, as I was leaning comfortably. And I didn't have any other place to put my camera. <laughs> I'll just lean forward again. Not true gremlin, but we're getting there. So. I'll just move my stuff a little closer. But thank you for warning me about that stuff. That's important. So, uh... Mm. Instead of doing things like eating dinner, I got boba. <laughs> so I have a rose... Uh, milk tea with pomegranate boba. Which is delightful. Um, because I didn't have the energy to cook. And I also will be away from home tomorrow, so getting a bunch of groceries just didn't seem like a good idea. Not that it would have been uh, a good idea. Not that it is a smart idea to not eat, but... <laughs> but, you know, I'm, I'm busy. Sounds amazing. It is amazing. It's absolutely delightful. Um, the pomegranate is a good sort of semi-bittersweet. Uh, um, Gammy, that's not dinner. I had a big lunch, okay? <laughs> Forgive me this once. I know it is a- Alright, I'm also gonna have the shoes on a different layer as well. Because I know for a fact that this is to be colored in. But it's like, it's it's a little bit dinner, right? Like, it's- it's- it's calories, right? Like- <laughs> No, I, um, my sister was over uh, to visit today, so we had nachos for, for lunch, so. <laughs> we survived. But I have, um, I have a wedding to go to tomorrow, and then if I know myself correctly, um, I'm gonna crash at my parents' place the night of, because why would I drive all the way back to Copenhagen? You know what I mean? So, it'll end up being a very, very nice and easy uh, just sleep it off kind of situation. It's actually the same as the thing. We don't actually gotta worry about that one bit. What we can do, no, 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 is get this, which is our silver for the knee pads, and put that here. And that's also on the heel as well. And I guess so we can put this here as well. No, we'll put it on a different layer. The more complicated it gets, the more clipping masks we need. And that's okay. <laughs> so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go here again. Wait, wait, there it is. But I'm very excited to, to see the whole family again. Or at least the, the one side of the extended. We're just gonna sneak our way across. And probably a little bit here as well. Yep. And we'll sort of just do the same thing where we sort of sneak ourselves around this. Hell yeah. The more clipping layers, the better. Yeah. I have a one flat color, which is the, uh, and then I, every single other color or significant piece has a layer that's layered on top. So I don't draw over it basically. So it's all detailing. Uh, let's, 
let's get a light gray. Like this one. As it is... <gasps> ah, Alright. I forgot something, but I can fix it. I'm going to put this here first, and then I'm going to go back to pencil. Got this. It needs to be thinner. I think we're going to go... Yep. Yeah, yeah. Then it's gonna go down like this. Done! Because <laughs> we still need that gold accent. My goodness, because I saw that um, uh, Hades animation by uh, Empty Glow, every time I hear uh, gold, I think of glitter and gold, like that song. Sometimes you gotta check if you have the right color by drawing across absolutely everything. Do we have anything else in the gray? Yes, the knee pads. Oh, the Barnes Courtney song? It could be Barnes Courtney. Let me see. Uh, glitter. And gold. Yeah, it is Barnes Courtney. There's also a bop of a song. Of course, I can't play, uh, I can't play it here because the Twitch gods will get mad at me for copyright, so. That one slaps. It really does. Now we need some gold. Yellow, orange, you mean gold. Uh, <laughs> We're gonna have to mess around a little bit here as we get stuff set up. So many details. Just a quick little, uh, just some shenanigans. Mm. Doesn't need to be a lot, just like a little bit. Uh, we'll go back to the flat brush here.
Do we have the darker one here? It seems like we do. I think that works a little better, actually. All right. We'll still need the brighter silvery one as the chain. So we'll take the, the brighter here and go in under clipping mask on here and sort of start doing that. So that'll be here, and here, and here. That one might be gold actually, but this is gonna definitely be. This here also Can I see the lines right now? No, but what I do see is that shenanigans are happening. <laughs> Sceny ones on those sides should continue to be. Huh. Let me try and make them gold. No, those have to be black, but this could be gold. Um. Uh, let me try then to do this. Okay, yeah, that actually fucks. Um, okay, let's see. Right, I'm missing socks. Do you think it wouldn't be a bad thing if they were perhaps this color? Well, no, the same color as the paint. Well, I mean, the pants can just be a little extra bunched. I don't mind. We don't need to make things more complicated than they have to be. See that? Brilliant. I'm just gonna go into our line art layer. Um. Oh, right, I'm missing a... This. There we go, okay. Hmm. Yep. Nah, nah. All right, what do we think? I love her as always. I agree, thank you. <laughs> mm. 
Very good. Very good. All right. Uh, with that, let's have some bandages. Let's see. They go up to maybe here. We're also going to des design her civilian outfit. Yeah, my plan is to do civilian disguise and then uh, along with that, the vigilante one. So, doing a little bit of everything today. I also, luckily, I mean, I mean, I don't know if it's luckily, but uh, I also, I don't know if she would have bandages on her legs as well, but I haven't made like a training montage outfit for her yet either, so. Uh, also, do you have a technique for making bandages? Yours look uh, top to you. Uh, thank you, I'll, uh, I have kind of an idea for them uh, when it comes to it, so uh, let me, uh, yeah, let me show you. Let me let me see what I can do. Um, basically, if we take an arm, I'm just gonna draw uh, a shape here, right? If this is our hand, um, I what I started doing was I took uh, a, like the bigger brush and sort of did like broad strokes kind of as if you were lacing up a shoe um where i would constantly go over and then on top of that i would darken it take the brush size i was using and sort of choose the ones i wanted to lay on top of each other and that's how you would sort of make something like that So basically, flat brush it out, and then layer uh, lines on top. Boom! Bandages. That's a cool technique. It is a very cool technique. I'm very, I'm very happy that I learned it. Um, but. At, at this point, I've gotten- I, I've done the technique so much that I don't need the, uh... <laughs> that I don't need the guidelines anymore. I just sort of start crossing out shapes. And it also depends on what you think would look nice, you know? What I like to do is make sure there's some space every once in a while where you can see that there's skin underneath so he doesn't get all jumbled. Training montage? It's more like a sparring thing, you know what I mean? Like if you want to spend- if she wants to spend some time practicing her- her warhammer or figuring out what to do, you know, like she could do that. So basically just like the gym outfit. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, one thing to remember, though, is the closer you get to the hands, the less is going to be out in the open. Uh, simply because, like, that's, uh, like, you're trying to protect your wrist and your hands and not the other way around. So up here, there can be big spaces. Like, even if I did remove this, it would still look like a bandage. Or even here, you know? I could do this as well, or I could do this, you know? Like, but the closer you get to the, um, to the point of interest, that's when you have to start focusing up a little bit. I think I like the idea of this one, though. No? Yeah. And then you can always look at the lines later and sort of be like, Oh, well that doesn't make sense for this one to be underneath, so we'll put that one on top. Or anything like that. <laughs> Gammy's art school is now in session. Oh my god, I am nowhere near far enough to actually have an art school. Y'all are wildin'. Now we have that as well. Rename. Bandages. Hands. Not emoji, just hands, please. I have under things on, so we're gonna remove the uniform. Oh, maybe we keep the uniform on and start making. No, if we need a civilian disguise. Hmm. Hmm. Oh my goodness. All right, give me a second here. I disconnected my headphones. There we go. Now I can actually hear again. That's always nice. I'm gonna have some water. Everyone drink something, please. Mm. Okay. So. In regards to the civilian disguise. Hmm. 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 I think I know what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna go here and see if we what we have in the Dungeons and Dragons character art. There. Uh there. So what we're gonna do here is Okay, okay, okay. In regards to disguise. Hmm. I mean, she still has gloves. Um. Where her brass knuckles sit, so. Don't mind me. Does it cover the thumb? No, it does not. We're gonna take this color. Relatively easy. Right, however, leaning over there and we'll do that. Weirdly enough, now I don't like it. <laughs> uh, 
I'll save them for later, I guess. Okay, so civilian, civilian, civilian. Um, well, there still probably has to be some sort of pants to it, so. Hmm. Let's see what we can do, huh? I mean, we'll probably still keep the same shoes. So maybe it's more of a harem pant. I'm gonna do like a scarf thing here, maybe? Hmm, I just want like something at the hips. So. Mm. If we still. Okay, okay. could keep this here, perhaps. Like that, we'll have these shoes be the same-ish. Hey Gammy, it's starting to get late, so please remember to get some sleep in a bit. Uh, yeah, I see that. We have, um... I gave her like a long coat thing and the big piece I drew if you want to take inspo from that. Oh, I do want to take inspo from that. Thank you. Um, uh, I do see that it's getting a little late. Um, we have around 15 minute. Oh, uh, we have no, we have around 20 minutes before we hit the two hour mark and then I'll call it there. So I, I won't stay up too late, I promise. <laughs> Thank you, Pear. Mm. But I'm gonna go look up at that older piece, um, the big, stupid, beautiful piece that you made that hurts me whenever I look at it. Because it's so pretty. Oh my god. It's her. <laughs> oh, she's like, sounds good. It's a reminder because I tend to forget the time quite often. <laughs> okay, valid though. Zen Lizard, don't tell yourself sure. That piece was stunning. Uh... All right, let's see what we got here. All right. Okay, so I actually, I actually really like that. So what we're going to do is... An asymmetrical sleeve. We love that for us. Or collar, I guess. I'm also going to take a look real quick at... Uh... Oh my god, Chris. Or Jonah Crin. That's also a sort of look... We have there for them as well. <laughs> Asymmetrical collar, no sleeves, yes, thank you. Exactly, you get it. You get it. We have like a scarf-esque thing here, along with perhaps a, another belt thing. Um. <laughs> what we can do probably is have the bandages go up a significant amount higher here or taller um 
more bandages along with we don't want anyone to see the the autopsy scars so what we'll need is a high collar underneath of some sort um so uh Maybe some longer coattails? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Um, we're gonna go down here. Uh, let's see what we have here, right? So it's gonna go down like this. How do we want this to fall? Um... It goes around the body like this. Ooh, 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 ooh. And then it sort of bunches down like this. So like if 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 I were to explain this, it's like um the sides of the like the middle of the coat has like a like a big it's basically like a poncho, but it's being held or connected to this belt in the middle by some strappies, so it has like this curling moment. You know what I mean? So it's like it would sit looser, but there's like some belt hooks that make it sort of curl up a little bit like Lex's, um, unintentionally though, because, you know. Uh, so if we have the body here... Uh, the coat would sort of go here, and the belt, would, like the big thing would sit here, and then it would go here, and then it would go like this. You know? Yeah. Teddy, don't huff at me. I am your mother. He's so upset. He's like, it's dark. It's bedtime. No, it's not. I'm drawing. It's never bedtime. I just don't want it to look penguiny, so I'm going to probably have to curl it in a little. Like that, and then sort of have it do that. You know what I mean? Like, have it sort of drape down. Yes, we'll have the drapes. Yes! We're doing it, homies. We're doing it! Alright. Oof. Now the question is, should the shoes be a- should the pants be a lot longer? Or should we keep the same shoe? Well, I mean, maybe the pants go all the way to the shoe. That's something we can do here. Teddy said, Mother, it is past my bedtime. He really did. In like eight different languages, none of them uh, available to the human ear. Okay, but I have an idea that sound that look might look a little silly, but I want like a little bandana on the shoe. Just like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just like a little. You know what I mean? Like a small flare. The good part about it is if we keep the shoes the same, then I don't have to draw more of them. I love a foot bandana. It's just like a just like a sweet little touch, you know what I mean? And then this with the, the bandages here. Oh. Okay, also, wait, another good idea? What about a bandana up here at the arm? It's giving a little bit York, 
from Draw Detectives, but I kind of fuck with it. What are we thinking? Hmm. Maybe the other arm then for balance. True, but it's more like I don't know if we need one or the other. Like, I don't think we need both. You know what I mean? We could out the collar a little bit more, though. I think foot bandana might be our best bet. You know what I mean? Because on the other hand, sun's out, gun's out. You know what I mean? I'm just thinking we might want something in this area to protect the shoulders. But I don't think they'll see the autopsy scar at this point. How far is it in? Yeah, it's first past the collar here, so we're safe. Um... I agree, the foot bandana is the best bet. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the shoes from down here. I can't copy them. I can't copy all of them at once. Okay, fine. I like the sleeveless turtleneck. It's a very lesbian look. I agree. I, I agree. I also, thanks for the call out. Um... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line I'm going to line this again. In in black and then we're going to color it with the yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go. I calls him like I sees him. I mean, you're not wrong. And the like the amount of times that I have relied on my uh, sleeveless turtleneck is um, it is a mystery that no one has called me out on my shit yet. Mm. Let's see. We're gonna lean across here. I have like a... Maybe like a... Like a little... Doodad here, like a sparkly or something like that. Like a... Watch or... I don't know, something. Or consider yourself called out. Thank you. Okay, I will. <laughs> Let's see. There it goes. Nope. 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 Nope.
We're just gonna do that. Again, make sure that we can't see the, um... Uh, the, uh, the autopsy scars. We have the thing here. And then we have a bit of sash kind of thing. And then like that, I think. So how tall would you say Temperance is? I don't know. I think she, I think it's like gentle giant energy. Like I, I wouldn't say she's abnormally tall. But she is tall-ish. I think I have it written down somewhere. But I cannot recall. But... At some point we could easily make like a kind of height chart or something. Um, figure that out. Uh, she gives me 1.90 meters. Ooh, that is good. Oh, we should for sure. I know, right? We should make sure that we get. 190 is is a good guess for temperance. Like, she looks kind of like a brick shit house, But, like, in a gentle giant kind of way. But this will go out and sort of do that. Yeah, 190, I, I, I mean, between 185 and, between 180 and 190, for sure. At the same time, she also looks like she could be small, but ready to bend anyone down to her level. That's the thing, like, she's either, like, 160 or 190, and I don't know which one. Like, she gives me both, like, yoinking someone down to her level by collar, or, like, looking over you from the top and casting you in her shadow. Like, there are two options here. Both of which are stellar, but you know what I mean, like...
Maybe she's 170, but her boots make her 190. No, 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 no. I mean, that would be hilarious, but I, uh, I think I'll just have to find a height. Maybe once we get everyone else's heights, we can do, like, a height chart and then sort of put temperance in whatever one, um, in whatever we're lacking. <laughs> like, if we're all tall, lanky bitches have a short powerhouse, you know what I mean? Got the goth platformers. Oh, my god. The dream. And we're just going to take some random color. In this case, it's going to be a pink. And what I have realized is that I need to put the bandages under the uniform basic. So I can draw the rest of the bandages on the one hand. But I'll do that later. I'll do that after. I will just re remove that sketch real quick. Forgot about the fucking high collar she's got. She could almost get away with only wearing her under things underneath, but it's only an almost. Hell yeah. What I might do is still have to uh, get the lines from these shoes and just copy them up. that real quick. Hell yeah. Easy as pie. Now what we're gonna do is go here.
Wow, two arm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, Pear, you're looking out for me, huh, hon? And then I'll take just the last, just the last bit, please. Just the last bit. I'll take uh, this. Oh my goodness, what a sense of nostalgia and love one feels from the chat, huh? Alright, I'm gonna get the final bits of this sketch set up. And then we'll call it quits for tonight. It's also a long day tomorrow. But I'm asleep though, I'm so tired. But I had lots of fun. I'm glad I got your stream. Oh, hon, thank you so much. Um, get some proper rest and thank you for hopping in. I hope to see you again soon. I, I hope to see you again soon too, darling. Take care of yourself, okay? I just, I love, I love this. I love the way this turned out. What I do have to do, however, is erase all the stuff where the hand is, which sucks. But I'll make it work. This includes lines, actually. I'm just gonna do that and then go here. We're gonna make sure that this is, uh... Oh, what a lurk. <laughs> oh, absolutely. But as I've said, lurkers are always welcome. And, uh... I don't know, it's kind of, we're just kind of vibing today. I was actually really tired here this afternoon. So I was sort of wondering if I was even going to stream tonight. But then I sort of put myself together and was like, you know what, we can do it, we can do it. And then uh, this has actually been really, really fun. So I'm, I'm very happy that I went online today and uh, decided to uh, decided to stream. I'm very happy, at the very least. I don't know about y'all. I know she doesn't have them, but a hands and pockets. A hands and pockets could be good, but the pockets are just too low. Oh, I'm in a lurk is in a gay look. Ah, I see, I see. Like, pockets would have to be, like, um... Pockets would have to be like up here almost, you know what I mean? But it would be kind of, it would be sexy with sort of like a hand in pockets, like... No wait, no wait. No wait, but okay. We could do that, maybe add like a belt thing here. Wait, can this work? Don't fuck with me, can this work? <laughs> hmm.
Oh, wait. Oof. Hmm. Like here, maybe? Let me just try a hypothetical. More than that even, but I don't want to change how the hand position sits. Like this? It's definitely an option. I mean, just to have the whole hand in there, but the thumb out is very- Like, that's the thing, the thumb out is such a powerful move that even if I wanted everything in the pocket, you know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't be able to do that to myself. So maybe if we let it be like a- And we just draw with the flat brush a little. So maybe something like this? Hmm. I don't think we need that though. I don't know. Would it be better on the other side? Like this, maybe? No, 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 no. Yeah, now bring it down a bit again. I know, right? pocket is like a little shorter and maybe there's another pocket here or something like that you know what I mean okay honestly I kind of fuck with this though What do we think? Ooh, I know what I might do first though. I know, right? It's pretty great. Uh, I might do real quick sort of like a extra corset layer here so we can see that it actually curls in here like that.
Very soft butch. It is very soft butch. I'm not quite done with it because it feels that feels a little boxy, so like this and like that. Yeah, that's what I want. A cha ching, folks. Cha cha, folks. Uh, we fucking did it, homies. Look at that shit. This right here? This is peak queer. I love it. I do fucking love this. <laughs> My final thought would maybe. be like a a bandana or something you know what I mean but it wouldn't sit that wouldn't vibe right you know what I mean so and a mask just doesn't seem very temperance so Uh, we did it. We made the beautiful civilian outfit for my beautiful girl. She is lovely. Alright. I do think with that, though, as we have hit... Maybe like a sixpence. Ooh, let me, let me find a sixpence. Oh, like a paperboy cap. That might be a bit too much oi governor. Yeah, it's giving me a bit too much oi governor. But it is a good option. Um. But yeah, we've hit our two hour mark. And I think with that, especially because I have to get up early tomorrow, I'm going to call it quits for tonight. So, uh... <laughs> Thank you so, so much for joining me as I've designed uh, two-ish outfits um, here tonight for a D&D &D character. Um, <laughs> and just for the lovely company, honestly. It's been a delight to, to see everybody. 
Um, thanks for tonight. And thank you. I will uh, see you guys again on Tuesday um, as we continue uh, The Walking Dead. But until then, uh, thank you everybody for hopping in. Remember to get some proper rest and take care of yourself and others if you can. I will see you guys next time. Bye!